Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 43. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button please. Thank you.
we have finished cleaning up all the logs. I think we have all the stumps ground up and all the sticks picked up. Or made to vanish, as the case may be. Taking our last little bundle in to sell. 10 o'clock in the morning. Crops are still not harvestable, but the grass is up. And I'm hoping when we get done selling this little bit that maybe that corn will be ready to harvest. Not sure. I was concerned that I wasn't going to have enough money to buy the piece of property that's across the road from us and buy a silo. But I think... Get in there. But I... Oops. Didn't unhook it. There we go. But I think we might have enough with... 311,000. Hold on. So if the crops aren't ready yet, then I need to start looking at field layouts and where I might put a silo. Because I've got a feeling we're going to have a lot of extra corn. harvestable yet. Well, I will go park this trailer. And then we'll look at it. There we be. And let's take a look. Ooh, they're ready. Any moment now. Any moment. How's the grass doing? grass up here is extra good because it is golden. Burnt brown, burnt gold. Uh, end of the field, the new grass is harvestable, but it is not as old or tall. So let's put a worker on that while we're looking at silos. That is a pretty small corn header. Um, whoa, don't fall over. I do believe we are going to upgrade our harvester for this harvest. That little corn header will take us forever. So, let's back up here. And we will put a worker on it. 
and we'll see wherever he ends up. Now this guy would be okay for harvesting the wheat. Come on, let's go. He, he knows we were talking about selling him. But he was a good little starter tractor, harvester. Um, he doesn't have wheels. And I did not buy a trailer. I did not buy a trailer for him. Well, let's see. Harvesters. We have the Nova. All right, let's go to the garage. So we're gonna get we're gonna get more than this, but if we just say seventy thousand, ninety two, ninety five, a hundred and five. So we may get a hundred and ten for what we have. I think we should just go take a look at it. Um, I was thinking we'll just go sell it and be ready, but if we are short a few dollars, we could harvest the wheat with this one first and then sell and buy the corn header for the other one. The only thing I do know is we are selling this corn header. I'd really like to have enough to buy a buy that property, but all right, I'm gonna have to do some thinking and then I will be back with you. Well, I decided to just go ahead and sell it and get it out of here and figure out what we're gonna buy with what money we have. We definitely need a new one for the corn, so that's what's gonna happen. And I didn't want to have to drive it all the way back to our property to get the header, so I figured the big wheel can pick it up. And that's what I did. for the wear. And I guess the deciding factor of what we're going to buy is the size of the corn header. So, all right, here we go. Repaired. So, yes, we will sell it. Out of the trigger, back into the trigger. Four days, it is repaired. Yes, we will sell it. Out of the trigger, back into the trigger. Four days. Yes, we will sell it. Four hundred and thirty-eight thousand. All right, I'm gonna sit in the cab because it's in the shade. And I'm going to flip through the catalog some more, and I'll be back with you. Okay, I think I have a plan. Uh, 
first I need to get my grass picked up that I just mowed and get that out of the way and um, and then I'll share my ideas with you so let me get my grass picked up and I will be right back with you while I was working on my grass bales I noticed when I went to see what the silage was worth that the wool is at its highest. Silage is almost at its lowest so that's no good but I've got to quick run this wool over there. And we've got a full pallet, I mean a full trailer. I don't believe I could get any more on that little trailer. I guess I could stack it up higher, but yeah, no reason to buy a new trailer yet. I haven't got more than what fits on it. So yes, I have picked out my harvester of choice. It is, it was between the Rostel Mash, the John Deere. T560 and the Massey Ferguson Activo. The deciding factor was the corn header. The John Deere T560. All right, wait a minute. Where do I go with this? This first building here, I think. Well, $3,800 more than I had, so that just doesn't seem like much. Anyway, um, the John Deere T560 Harvester and the Massey Ferguson Activa Harvester both have 6 meter heads. The Rostel Mash has a 9 meter head to get the John Deere to go to a 9 meter head is another $100,000. So, I was kind of hoping I could do the John Deere, but not at this time because I also am planning on buying a silo. And the silo I have picked out is a double large for 120000 so, that's what my plan is. Oh, and when the clock rolls over to 11 o'clock, you will see the numbers go up. I believe I am now getting hourly uh, apple sales. So, that's cool. Like I said before, it's not worth retiring over yet. But Okay, we can work on more uh, um, wool bales. Whoa, did you see that? Uh, starts in the air and falls. All right, so let's see. I need, let's look at what we got. Oh, and I missed it. Hope you saw the numbers going up at 11 o'clock. Maybe that's when the wool fell. But yeah, the wool, 760, and that's the highest that I've seen it. So, silage, if I want to sell it, is 213, so we got a ways to go. And they're happy. They're happy. Um. And let's see, the grass has been harvested. It is not gold down there yet, but I could probably go ahead and mow that now that I'm waiting. 
I need to get the wheat harvested before I decide on my silo. So I will be back with you when I get done mowing the new part. When I was mowing, the beehive is just outside the grass line, right here, and the mower stopped. So I had to finish it myself. I may have to move the beehive. And there we go. Two headers and a harvester. Before I start harvesting, I had better move the grass bales that are down there. They'll be in the way when the harvester gets to the end of the row. And I noticed something peculiar about my trailer. Yep, it's an auto loader. I didn't uh, plan on that. And yeah, I loaded it by hand the first time. And I might keep loading it by hand, but I thought I would show you that. When I started picking up those other bales at the other end of the field, I uh, I was driving up and getting ready to set it down, and the bale popped right right as I was stopping. <laughs> it was funny. I think while I'm waiting for crops to be ready to harvest. I am going to work on some more logs. Time to cut down some more trees and I'll be back. Well I got one load of logs and it looks like we have crops to harvest. kind of got carried away cutting down trees. We have a new clearing that needs to be cleaned up. But I'll show that to you in a little bit. Let me dump off these logs and I'll be right back with you. 
I think this might be the thumbnail. Clearing expands for new equipment. Okay, let's play with the new toys. Let's see, I better get the help window on. I need to make sure Strasswath is enabled. All right, we can turn that back off. There we go. And no, don't do that. Do it there. drive on it. Yay! Ooh, that's a heavier straw swath. Well, we'll see how fast we get filled up. I'm not sure how much the pigs will eat, but we're going to try and give it all to them. We'll see. I thought I was going to miss that. Darn it, darn it, darn it. All better. It all fit. 89%. Now we'll see if it all fits in with the pigs. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room. 5,000 and there's 30 in there now. Didn't go green though, but they're half full. All right, now let's go try that corn header. Nope, not that button. Not that one. Let's try that one. Oh, come on. There we go. I was trying to be a good boy. Normally I just drop it. I am going to start over here on this end. No, I'm not. I'm going to start on this end. 
after I open up the header. Oh, that looks nice. What, is that three times the other header? Three times the size? There we go. I was wondering if it was going to go clear to the end there or not, but yeah, I think that looks like a good amount of grass. So that we have a good turnaround. I was worried about the beehive being in the way, but I think there'll be plenty of room. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a quiz. What do you think the total corn will be in the pig trough? And I'm going to pan around here so you can see it. What do you think the pig corn count will be? How many liters? And if you think it's going to go over, how much over do you think it's going to go over? And I'm going to let that be the end of the episode so it's a cliffhanger. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know your guess. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you would like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I'd like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.